when it comes to Fourth Strike, the game does exist. Five years ago, actually, no, two, it was 2010. Uh, seven years ago, a Japanese guy did a ROM hack to create Fourth Strike that was then rebalanced. Um, so the idea conceptually was, let's keep the top tiers relatively top tiery, but let's remove the dumb stuff. Let's not make Chun absolutely ridiculous where with two bars, she can shotgun any cast member for two for half their health, if not more, and just win rounds outright. No, 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 let's tone that back. Dudley, let's tone back the amount of meter gain you get off of Roundhouse. Because even as a Dudley main, I'll be the first to admit, that is dumb. Next, they take all the lower tier characters and rise up their power levels so that they're actually decent and competable and viable. So it's no longer Chun, Yun, Ken, and then Dudley as Gatekeeper. There is like everybody else who's also viable as well. Fourth Strike also exists in a ranged edition where they take characters, all the low tier characters, and give them brand new movesets and animations and supers. There's two Shawns in the game. One's charge, one's command. Why? Because they could. What? So why would you? Let's make characters have charges now. It, it is, it is Project Misdemeanor, but fourth strike. Yes. Wow, that's insane. And as someone who loves dumb stuff, this, point is, this is one of my favorite mods I've ever played. And um, I actually have been actively looking forward to like. Having a party where, like, I get a bunch of people who are proficient at third strike to come over and play the game. I, the thing that's so funny, there's no instructions in English for how you play a ranged edition with all the new moves. You have to watch a YouTube video where a dude is showing everything and it's in Japanese, and you have to guess what all the changes are. You just know the motions. That's it. <laughs> and it's great. Wow. That oh. sounds ridiculous, but not as ridiculous as the ability to keep up with the blue team. We saw this team get absolutely demolished in winners now. Keeping very even percentiles and stocks. There, some slippy sloppy spaghetti coming out of the blue. That PK Pulse is going to take out Lima stock. We have even stocks now for both the teams. Um, This is actually pretty evil. Yeah, I was really surprised. I looked over and I was like, this game is because way too even. At the beginning, it looks like Team Green was almost having reminiscence of the, the first time that they played uh, last set, which was they, they kind of forfeit the first game out to a bit of a blowout, but then they just, they, they managed to equalize. Yeah. This is actually, it, it's it's starting to be a little topsy-turvy, but um, this could be equalized pretty quickly. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Good jump away, but he's able to pick it up with that up tilt. Now, last stocks all around. Hyrule Hero at high percent. He needs to be careful because Austin all he needs is the back throw, and one witch time will set up so much momentum for the blue team. Here's the back throw. Yeah, he's got it. Um, now, here's the situation. You have everyone down to last stock, so it's not as bad as it seems, but it's pretty bad. You're yeah. playing against two of the best in DFW. Exactly, and I love the choice from Austin just to sit back and throw these PK Thunders while Jeez, Lima just dude. applies so much aggression, looking to take the stock off right now as... Wait, did that PK Thunder even actually hit? Uh, no, I think he just got I taken off by the wish list. Off the yeah, blown to the moon. Talk about helplessness. You can't even DI to the right anymore. Like, you have to only DI out, and then you'd be off stage, and then you have to come back to the stage again. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, rough spot, rough spot. Yeah, that's I don't I don't envy. Like though. most good DI there is you know down in a way to get out a lot of the afterburner follow ups and you know some of the witch well, that's, stuff. Well, even then that's positional. Yeah, exactly, and like, it's even worse because you have Austin in the back there with his PK Thunders just well, keeping you there. So for you guys that are act okay. Granted, I'm from the mindset of we don't cry nerf, we <laughs> cry adapt. Yeah, yeah, so, it's possible, yeah. The first thing I will say is, okay, the STI modifiers have been changed for when it comes to Witch Twist, Afterburner. It's better now. It's a lot easier. So much better. I think a lot of people still don't STI and DI it correctly. Oh, yeah. That's so I highly about. recommend all of you go to ESAM's YouTube channel and look at the video talking about how to DI Bayonetta's update. Thank me later at Neptune Neptune. Yeah. But <laughs> for now, oh no. It looks like we're going to see some death. Oh no. Yeah, neutral air. Oh, it doesn't connect to neutral air. Get some bullet no, damage. He just needs goes a back air. down deep, but he still. Does he can pull another bomb? No, no he didn't. And done. his brother's not there for the save because Austin's holding him up. The idea there is is very much I'm Bayonetta. <gasps> I have there? a lot. Oh my what? gosh. Another quick suck. He got caught off the stage and forwarded right into the blast zone. He's fine. 
it, it, it's fine. Just, uh, you know, it's dead. Everything is fine. The building's on fire. Gleamer's on fire. Missing the bat there to throw back that shadow ball. Gets caught by the forward air. The stop goes off of Austin, but Lima quick to go for that aggression. Again, again, and another again. forward air off the side. Two stocks have been taken from the green, and only two stocks remain. Oh, man. And just immediately, MuseCore, get this problem out of here. I don't need any more of it. I'm oh, down yeah. to my last stock. We trying to play Smash. Oh, my gosh, we trying to Lima. Play Smash? He's taking his ball and going home. <laughs> He's not about this. He's not about it. He's like, you dunked on me? I'm tired of this. I'm taking my ball. <laughs> dude, this is this is, a, this is terrifying. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Caught off again. Tries to get that first part oh. of hair. If he had gotten that uh, the afterburner, that was a neutral, and that was death. Scary spot for Hyrule Hero, but he gets himself back, and the green team has gotten themselves back into this game. Only one stock separates them from an even stock game, and Lima's looking to lose that thing quick. Okay, Link. Uh, Hyrule Hero is at a position where he could get back thrown. He, he, oh, wait, what? He clipped. I don't know if it was the, the um, dash attack or the forward tilt, but it doesn't oh, even matter because Lima is going to be taking off one stock as Mew Square takes out another, and now we have a 1v1 in the second game of Grand Finals. Okay, Nair out of shield is immediately going to get back within. Um, down tilt. This this is looking Good, pretty not ugly. Get the Good damage, though. Not going to get the Immediately kill. Immediately, though, trying to bail out, hitting the panic button, then trying to air dodge out. He didn't fastball exactly because he didn't want to be too predictable. Here's the drop. Yeah, this this is exactly, though, what Lima wants to do. Yeah. He has longer limbs. He's going to try to use that back air. Uh, he doesn't. He wants to make sure that he's attacking uh, YouTube from the back mm -hmm. because he doesn't want to have to deal with fair. Yeah. He has faster hip boxes, too. Back air for Bayonetta comes out so much back air, uh, faster than Muse Square back air. He's going to be getting a lot of damage from these jugglers, though. Almost oh, missed the recovery no. there, and he overextended, which puts him in another bad spot where Lima can apply Ooh. this type of aggression now off the stage. Uh -huh. And Lima is not afraid to go deep for these Esgars. That was such a smart early teleport. Oh, he really got dunked there, though. You can see the the, the willingness, the, yeah. the, the desire to just dunk on Lima, the villain of DFW. Yeah, we saw this matchup last week. We saw Mew Square get Puppy. scooped up and taken a lot of damage. Not going to connect oh, the up air there. Oh, could air dodge down, though. He was able to get around that up air. That could have been death. Yeah. He's um, able to get back onto the stage here, but Lima needs to figure out how he's going to find that opener. Bayonetta's not someone that you're trying to find easy openers with. That was almost you're it! You're trying to find the punishment. There's the forward throw. It's not going to be enough. And now he has a chance to edge guard here. Baits him. It's going to be trying to find the commitment. Yep. That's going to do it! Yep. Just wait. All you needed was the up air. He was looking for the up air the entire... Wait, this grand finals, right? They have one more game. They have one more game. Go hurry. Tell him. They have one more game. Grand finals, one more game. Oh, they, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, they didn't realize they had another game. It's like, oh, we're only playing. Yo, you know, but best I, of three. I don't blame them for wanting to get up immediately oh, yeah, after that like one. Done. That was that was kind of rough. That was done. That was a little rough. That, was, that wasn't like done though, but yeah. that was kind of rough. That was kind of rough. They might have to read there. Uh, now they're going to a third game. Honestly, and it's kind of weird. In those situations, I don't think you need to read that much. I think you need to put out that hitbox. <laughs> when you're when you are like. You are getting a haircut from the blast zone, like grazing the top of your head. Uh -huh. You, you, you in a problem. That's that's a that's a tough situation. And I feel bad for the twins because you know they were ready to take their ball, take it home, and now they have to go take the ball back out of the bag and get back into the game. It's gonna be difficult to get back in that mindset after you know thinking you've already lost. You gotta get yourself right back in it. They are getting hit by a PK pulse, very uncharacteristic. And there's Lima once again with the are pickup. Are you kidding me? Fly him right to the moon. It's what you gotta do. No, 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 no. Look at this. Look, look. This, oh. is, this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, okay. No, he's trying to go for the second one. He's trying to put on a little percentage. Yeah. Here's the thing is that Lima is great at these situations where. He, <gasps> oh, no. He jumped oh right my into that. God. Yeah. He jumped right into a fully charged Shadow Ball. That is not what you oh need to do there. Oh, gosh. The freeze is special? <laughs> that, that is terrifying. Oh, and they're up there killing their green team with a lead early. Okay, oh my god, just do it. Sometimes, he's got a Nike. He's got a straight up Nike. He's got the Nike she was on, he's got the sweatshirt, he's ready. That was... Oh man, that was ridiculous. Oh, right. it's ridiculous. Um, Lima, once again, not going to be able to get the kill from that fair string, but able to get so much damage. I love the DI though. Did you see how he got DI'd down and away and was able to get out of that? And the blue team coming back really strong here. Now we have even stocks across the board. Uh, oh, that back air is going to bring the blue team in the lead. By one stock. By one stock. There's there's still a chance here. They have to isolate Austin early. Yeah, definitely. But they have to get it, him dead. It, Austin has been such a consistent guy mm -hmm. um, with a, that kind of supporting role, right? Yeah, definitely. He's letting Lima go off and do all the crazy shenanigans, but he's here to bail out. He's here to help. Um, wow, that was so smart from Lima. He, he went down just to put some fear in the Hyrule hero and then made him 
not go too deep and he wasn't able to recover. Now look, 1v1 once again, and these are stocks where they'll be flying. I don't know what Musquare can do here. He's one back throw, one up smash from Bayonetta away, and there goes that 3-0 in Grand Finals we were expecting for to be a 2-0. Ooh. Yeah. I...